I didn't realize it's been four years since I made this style of fish curry. The thing is that my husband was never a fan of fish with bones. When he was younger, he had a fish bone stuck in his throat and that traumatized him for life. So even if I made a fish with bones, I would have to remove all the bones for him and he would still be looking out for the bones. Last week, I was really craving for this curry and Ronan, just like his dad, is not a fan of fish with bones and I thought if he doesn't like it, then he can have some leftovers that was in the fridge. So I made the curry and this is how I made it. I removed most of the oil that was used to fry the fish. Then I tempered in some fenugreek and mustard seeds and browned my onions. Then added ginger, garlic and chilies. Seasoned with cumin and coriander, kashmiri chili powder, turmeric and some salt. Give it a stir then adding the tomatoes. Stir this time to time, cover and let that cook on the side. And then you dry roast some perilla seeds or silam. Um, you don't have to let them pop uh, because if they do then they will burn. <laughs> Just let that heat so that you know you can grind easily. Then you add it to your tomato, uh, what do you call it? Paste. <laughs> <laughs> and then add lots of water, about one liter, let it boil for a while, add the fish in, and then it's done.